Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where your iPod Touch is showing the Apple logo and then it's turning off, then it's showing the Apple logo, then it's turning back off or maybe it just shows the Apple logo indefinitely and doesn't boot you up to the home screen or lock screen like you can see here. So the reason why this happens is because the software on your iPod Touch has been corrupted so I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to fix this issue. So for most iPod Touches, because there are uh, two different ways to do this, First of all, uh, all iPod Touches, you will need to plug in your iPod to the computer. So it either needs to be a Windows computer or a Mac computer. So we're just going to plug it in like so. And once our, our iPod is plugged in, we're going to enter recovery mode. So it doesn't matter whether or not you're on the lock screen or if you just see the Apple logo turning on or off. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down. This is where the process variates. So I want you to try this first. You're going to hold down the power and home button together. And you're going to hold it down until you see the Apple logo again. So uh, you're going to see the black screen first. That's good. Now once you see the Apple logo, you're going to release the uh, power button. But you're going to keep on holding the home button. So once you see that Apple logo, like so, release the power button and keep on holding the home. Now you may be like, okay, but I've been seeing the Apple logo the entire time. Uh, can I just hold down home? No, because it's when you first see the Apple logo. But if you hold the home button, it's going to enter into this screen here. If... You see the Apple logo, if you hold down power and home button together, it will remove that screen, show the black screen, and then when you see the Apple logo the next time, that's when uh, you hold down the home button. So you can see I've uh, entered into recovery mode successfully. You can see the screen, it looks something like this. If you have the newer iPod touches, you know how I was saying, uh, home button, instead you follow the same instructions, but with the volume down button. So hold down power and volume down until you see the black screen, Keep on holding until you see the Apple logo. Then when you see the Apple logo, release the power button, but keep on holding volume down, and you should see a screen like this. Most likely the screen will be slightly newer, so you'll see a TV instead of the iTunes, but that's perfectly fine. So what you're going to need to download next is the iTunes application. I'll uh, have a download in the description. You only download that for Windows. Uh, if you're on Mac, it's built into the operating system. So once you have iTunes downloaded, what you're going to do is on Mac, you load up the Finder application, like I've done it uh, like so. And on Windows, you load up iTunes. So what you're going to see is your iPod Touch here on Mac. And on uh, iTunes, it'll be at the top here. You're going to click into it. And you're going to see iPod Recovery Mode. So what I recommend you try first is the update here. So you just click on Update. And it's going to update your iPod Touch to the latest iOS. So for the most part, that should solve the issue. However, what if it doesn't? Well, if it doesn't, you're going to click instead here, Restore iPod. Now, most likely, if the update fails, it's going to um, you know, put your uh, device back into the uh, boot screen. And so that means you will need to enter recovery mode again. However, uh, once you've entered recovery mode again, try to restore. This is going to raise all the files and like start fresh. So this should solve the issue 100% if this one didn't solve the issue. Now, if you try this and that still doesn't work, then what that means is your iPod Touch is faulty, right? So it could be something as simple as a battery uh, that's faulty. And that's the reason why. Uh, however, that's unlikely. What's most likely likely is because your iPod Touch has been away for so long, it probably has a hardware fault with the motherboard. So your iPod Touch is basically KIA, uh, just keeping it real here. And unfortunately, you won't be able to use your iPod Touch anymore. So really, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.